And this morning, more conversation over the city of Gordon as questions about whether elected officials can choose who they answer to begin to surface. Our Rayla Plunkett joins us from the studio with why one mid-state woman says her concerns have fallen on deaf ears. Good morning, Arena. Good morning, Brittany. You know, when you fill out all of this paperwork to speak at council, you expect to be heard. But that simply wasn't the case for Alicia Floyd, who says the elected officials of Gordon aren't honoring their duty to the people. For months, Gordon resident Alicia Floyd has been trying to get a response. She says since the initial break in our coverage of the Gordon credit card controversy, she's had questions for the mayor and council. Two months later, they're still unanswered. In April of this year, Floyd drafted 16 questions about revised agendas, credit card transactions, and the independent investigation into over $6,000 in unauthorized charges on cards, which now amounts to over $14,000 with separate lawyer fees. She then followed the proper procedure to be added to the council's May 15th agenda. I've asked to be on the agenda several times and they will not put me on it. They refuse to answer the questions. According to Floyd and a Gordon City clerk, it wasn't until May 12th that Mayor April Smith responded to Floyd's request, saying she could instead attend the May 29th council meeting. The only problem is there was no meeting scheduled for that day. I emailed the mayor for an interview to discuss Floyd's concerns, but as of the airing of this story, I have not received a response back. With growing concerns about where her taxpayer dollars are going and even response times for emergency services, Floyd says the time for action is now. I want to see change and I want to see a recall. Now I'll continue to follow up with Mayor Smith to better understand why Mrs. Floyd was not added to the agenda and what are the proper procedures for citizens to get, answer, get answers from officials. From now though, reporting live in studio, Irena Plunkett, WGXA News.